from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed time for everything and a time for every affair under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot the plant. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to be far from embraces. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow, a time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. What advantage has the worker from his toil? I have considered the task which God has appointed for men to be busied about. He has made everything appropriate to its time, and he has put the timeless into our hearts without man's ever discovering from beginning to end the work which God has done. I recognize that there is nothing better than to be glad and to do well during life. For every man, moreover, to eat and drink and enjoy the fruit of all his labor is a gift of God. I recognized that whatever God does will endure forever. There is no adding to it, no taking from it. Thus has God done that he may be revered. What now is has already been, and what is to be already is, and God restores what otherwise would be displaced. And still under the sun in the judgment place, I saw wickedness, and in the seat of justice, iniquity. And I said to myself, both the just and the wicked, God will judge, since there is a time for every affair and on every work a judgment. I said to myself, as for the children of men, it is God's way of testing them and of showing that they are in themselves like beasts. For the lot of man and of beast is one lot. The one dies as well as the other. Both have the same life breath, and man has no advantage over the beast. All is vanity. Both go to the same place. Both were made from the dust, and to the dust they both return. Who knows if the life breath of the children of man goes upward and the life breath of the beasts? goes earthward. And I saw that there is nothing better for a man than to rejoice in his work, for this is his lot. Who will let him see what is to come after him?